time when young, I have the desire to become a legendary MC. Um, on my journey to my mastery, I've done like different things as an artist, like just travel around, meet other artists, perform at shows, and just go on different like adventures as an artist. It was um, a lot of amazing people that I've met, and doing my mastery reading, I really got a lot of insights from the different strategies like the life or death strategy where it was just like you know things in life could really just push you to that point where you feel like you know you're in a life or death situation and that can really help you like find your passion then the adaptation strategy where it was basically like, you know, as things change through life, you you adapt to that situation. And as you adapt, that can really help you find your passion. Like when it was mentioned in a reading that, you know, Roach, um, how he liked the boxing. And he used the method that was used for Cuban fighters where he had the large mitts. And it was similar to sparring. Then the perfect niche one where you take different things that you like and you put them together and you use that to find your passion through that to create your own field whereas it mentioned Matsuoka she created the robotic arm that used the nerves that were similar to how the nerves work in the human body and then the rebellion strategy where you know you have people who just they basically tell you what they want you to become and you get to this point where you rebel against them and you can find your passion through that and then also the back to origin strategy where you look at what you did as a child or you can see like some other person who's a master and you're really into what they do and that inspires you and it also you know talked about in the reading where Einstein as a child his father gave him the compass and he was interested in how these invisible forces actually work within the world the turning point for me would be the back to origin strategy because what really made a huge impact on me was when the artist Tupac Shakur, when I had first heard his music, I was really inspired by him because he wanted to make a change. He wanted to make a difference through his music. And that made me feel like, you know, maybe I could make a change through my music and help people who are going through some sort of suffering. And my career goal is to really like create this environment for artists who aren't with the status quo who have their own direction where they go where they go against the grain and they do their own thing they're not really trying to create art for what's popular but artists who you know they create their own world and they want to deliver this world to you and i don't want it to just be exclusively music i want it to be like you know different forms of creativity and I want the artists to be able to bounce their creative ideas off of each other because I feel like that really strengthens artists and makes their works even better. Two goals that I could do within the next three weeks would be to find other artists who fit you know what I'm really looking for in this idea and to you know talk to them how to get to know them and the other goal would be to take my social media profile and brand it in order to fit what I'm looking for and what I want to represent.